Oh, good old Activision are out here again. Uh, what's up? This is Stranglelord, one for one nation gaming. Um, as you can see, this isn't Modern Warfare gameplay. This is actually Destiny. I actually stopped playing Modern Warfare the minute that this diabolical DLC was released. Short and airy version of it is Activision decided to re-release the 2007, 2008 DLC that was out for Modern Warfare, the map variety pack. Which when this is first released, first kind of like announced I was excited for because I thought I loved those maps back in the day. But then when I realised that they were going to charge £12, $15 USA, which is basically the price that you pay for brand new DLC, brand new content these days, that was it. I stopped playing COD straight away. The thing is, all the remastered games that have been released, I've had the DLC thrown in with them. But oh no, not Activision, who'd rob your grandma's last quid. They need to charge for that DLC. They feel the right that they should have your Looks last like pound. At the end of the day, first. it's nearly 10 years old, the and they're trying to charge full price for it. Obviously, people have been in uproar about it. I mean, there's been loads of videos about it. I didn't want to do a video about it earlier because it'd be like jumping on the bandwagon, which I'm really not all about. But this is Activision. This DLC, it's ancient and they're trying to charge full price for it. I thought it was bad enough when they introduced supply drops when I thought, oh, it's just melee weapons. And then they started to bring guns in and I thought, are you taking their piss? And now this. It's like Activision are trying to strangle the last bit of life out of Call of Duty and I think with this they've finally done it. Activision are a business, which businesses have to make money, I understand that, but there is a way of making money without completely wiping out your player base. I honestly think this DLC will be the final straw for a lot of people. I mean, the player base is already shattered because Infinite Warfare's died in its arse. Try and get the game on PC on that, and PlayStation, the player count's dropping. The fact is, Activision don't ever put any money into Call of Duty because they're still using peer to peer. They've not got servers, they've got dedicated servers, but yet, year in, year out, they release this crap. And now, this, I think, is the final straw. Don't get me wrong, new DLC I'm happy to pay for, like with Destiny, I don't mind paying for that. Destiny does have microtransactions, but it's not pay to win. It's basically just sparrows, different equipment, different dance emotes, which is fine. But at least when, when they release DLC, it's new content, it's not eight, nine years old. Anyway, there will be people that do buy it, and if you do, more power to you, but I personally won't. It's been Stronghold 1 for 1 Nation Gaming. Peace out.